So let's uh, <clears throat> let's do a roll call, Jackie. Mayor Holston. Here. Councillor Hadley. Here. Councillor Whitney. Here. Do I call his name even though I know he's not here? Yeah, go ahead and call him. Okay. Councillor Forkham. Councillor Forkham has informed the council that he will be late and we'll just expect him to come. Councillor Barringboy. Here. Councillor Hollett. Here. Thank you. Um, so additions, corrections, and adjustments to the agenda. We Since we have such a full house here, um, so hold on, um, we'll... Um, we need to move some things around. Um, so counselors, um, uh, we are gonna move uh, the attorney's presentations under business from the city administrator up um, to right at public hearings. So we'll be doing that quickly so that we can excuse them and they can make their drive back down the mountain again. <laughs> Thank you so much for driving up the mountain. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, we also are adding uh, under resolutions and ordinances, it'll be 10, 9.1, maybe 10.1, but the OIP property sale will be in there. So that's where we'll be talking about that. And, uh, then we have a community services report. We have someone here from the Sasquatch Duro. So when we start, when we start that, we'll do that first off rather than last. So that, that gentleman can also leave um, when it comes time. Uh, so those are the, the adjustments to the agenda. We're gonna move into public comment. And here's the microphone. Reminding everybody that we need to be, make this as brief as possible, three minutes. I actually have a timer. So uh, when the timer goes off, um, you're done. Um, so if you'll come up to the podium, Skip Baker is the first one. <clears throat> Hi, Skip. Okay, Skip Baker on the far on road. First of all, I want to give thanks to the uh, standing members of the uh, planning committee. They had a meeting, they brought us in, I'm a new member, and they briefed us on protocols and procedures, and it was very helpful, and I got a lot of good information. Uh, Skip, I can't hear you. This is not working? No. It's working. Okay. Uh, one of the terms that came up that I, I'm not familiar with was the concept that if I go out on a job site and gain special information, I've got to share it with the whole committee so that everybody's read up and current. And uh, it breaks down to uh, the various committees need what is called a China wall between them. I see this term came from this movie, a TV series, Suits, Wall, wall Street uh, Attorneys. They, 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 one a firm can, can uh, support both sides as long as the attorneys agree not to be doing anything under the table. This becomes very important in a little town like ours, especially when we start talking about ODAC, Oak Ridge Economic Development Commission Committee. What they do is, is confidential. And the reason it's confidential is because the businesses coming into town don't want their competition knowing what they're up to. And, they, and the town doesn't want to get premature and get excited about what what's maybe may or may not transpire and come to town. So, so this this separation is confidential and it's very necessary. Years ago, I was an undercover cop in Coos Bay, and I, I come up with this cover story that I was a I represented Fred Myers and I was doing a survey to open a store in Coos Bay. The very next day, on the newspaper on the front page, it's Coos Bay. Uh, uh, Fred Myers coming to town. Oh <laughs> it was several years before Fred Myers came to Coos Bay, and I got a lot more careful about coming up with my cover stories when I was undercover. The point is, information like that can get out and it can cause very grave problems. And, and while we want citizen participation 
from the community. And we, I think it's real important that one citizen on one committee, we shouldn't be infecting committees with more, multiple participation from one individual. That's getting too much power and influence in one individual, and that should rest with the city council. And I think it's important that we recognize that. Uh, as a for instance, if there, were, if there was a large company coming in to take over our, our uh, industrial park, and somebody had vast knowledge of that, well, they could go buy the key lots in the industrial park, and that industry would have to pay big bucks to that individual to get that property. They might even squirrel the deal. So that's why we have to have that separation. And I think it's also important that we keep our committee members separated. Thank you. Thank you, Kip. Next I have Floyd Staley. Mr. Staley. Hi, greetings everybody. I'm Floyd Staley. Been here since 62. And uh, I uh, have some forms here that the city gave me. I can't hear you. Come city, stand here. city gave me Staley. some forms okay. to uh, respond. That's so uh, I'd like to uh, give a accommodation to our police department. And it reads here. I can't hear you back here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's for slowing down the traffic on Highway 58 through Oak Ridge. That's accommodation. Now the second one is uh, directed to multiple thieves have taken over Oak Ridge. Is anybody aware of that? So uh, I'm going to give this to the mayor also. Thank you, Mr. Staley. And in case anybody else wants to respond, I got some copies of the uh, commendation and the complaint. Can you please turn your microphone on so we can hear you back here? I don't I'm know where. Sure. I believe the microphone is on. Maybe I'm not into it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Thank you. can I leave these up here in case you the citizens want that? You can indeed. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I for one have lost three power saws, and there's lots of other people, and I live outside Oak Ridge on High Prairie Road. So they're going out of their way, and, and we know who some of them are. And I've heard it said that some of these people that are upset about the thievery, that they want to be judge, jury, and executioner. One of these people that was a thief was taken down to the river under a citizen's arrest. He complained about that, and the individual had to go to jail. And somebody down there says, I'll get back up to Oak Ridge. This is the person that took him down there because he was missing the power saw. He got his power saw back. <coughs> can you watch the dog back? <laughs> Well, nobody could see that. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> can I walk the dog? Yeah, let's see. But, uh, that's forward pass. Uh, this is over the falls. This is loop de loop. Want to see Rock a Baby? <laughs> rock a Baby, cha cha cha. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. This might be a little challenging for me, but maybe not for you. Not around the world. Yeah, don't do around the world. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty safe. Uh, brain teaser. That your finale because your three minutes just stopped. My, my, my time's up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Floyd. <laughs> next, next, I have Gordon Seeley who signed in. Hey, 
Yes, my name is Gordon Seeley. Can you hear me back there? Yes. Yep. <laughs> I'm new to the area. Can you state your address for us, please? Hmm? Can you state your address for us, please? Oh, my address is 550 Birch Street. Thank you. So, but I'm new to the area. Uh, and one of the things, the thing that really upsets me more of it, than anything else is we don't have a senior center activities around here. Uh, at least I haven't found any for a senior center building, uh, which I'm accustomed to from where I've lived in the past. And I wonder why there hasn't been anything here to do for senior citizens because in looking around here and, and listening to people, I think that, and I'd be surprised if there wasn't at least half of the people in this town that are senior citizens or retired people. Here, here. Yep. And, uh, and even though the population isn't very much, hey, I read the sign that says 3,300. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's around 1,600 people that would be using this center for activities. And, uh, um, and some of these activities are, you know, like they have a gaming room or games, uh, and some of them have uh, lunches to them, and, and most of them have got a, uh, a fitness room type of a thing for therapy, for, for having to, uh, do therapy work and and I'm just wondering why we haven't got one in, in uh, Oak Ridge here. Any answer? We don't, well, we don't have one like you're describing. Yes. I think that would be a great idea and I would hope that the community would support that. Okay. And it's something that I think we're going to be looking at soon in the community center and what pieces are going to go into that community center i would hope that you would use your voice and help us create what uh, would, would be appropriate i have to yeah. yes thank you okay thank you next i have don kenyon <clears throat> Don Kenyon, 76113 Fish Hatchery Road. I came here tonight to talk to the council about work sessions. Um, I was on the Cresswell City website recently and noticed that all of their work sessions have minutes posted. And that made me curious um, because as long as I've been here, I don't think we've been recording the minutes for our work sessions. So I started looking at public meetings laws and to the best of what I can see, it probably should be being done. Okay. So I would really like the council to look into that particularly because you're considering changing one meeting a month to a work session. Right. It would be very important for the citizens to be able to see what's being talked about there. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Dawn. And last, I have Lauren Hope. Uh, yeah. uh, Lauren Hope, 48319 First Street, Oak Ridge. Uh, a while back, the council uh, was talking about revising the complaint uh, process of submitting the complaint. And I just wondered if the council has uh, arrived at any process. So uh, I would look forward to that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Next is mayor's comments, and I'm not going to really make any because we have so much that, that has to be done here. So my comment is, we have a big meeting, and we're going to move forward with that meeting right now. Uh, if I can find what I'm looking for here. Aha, there it is. Okay, so let's... We wanna I'm going to move on to the presentation of the city attorneys. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, I'm sorry, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the presentation of the city attorneys. Just a question. Yes. I, I, I thought I had signed up to. Oh, okay. I had also. I just wanted just clarification. So you signed up. I have some citizens that have signed up for discussion on agenda items. Oh, Is that what you intended, Stephen? That's correct. Yes. Okay, then I will call you at that time. Okay. Mr. Cutler, did you intend just to talk? Uh, just, You're just welcome to, to come forward. Yeah, thank you. you I, I, I and did you, you also? Yeah. Okay. Kathy, is my name on there? Because I might have put it in the wrong spot, too. Okay, Robert Moe? There you go. There you go. Well, then we'll get to you, too. So let's get going. Thank you. You're welcome, Sandy. My name's Sandy Cutler. I'm a resident here. My wife, Mary Kay, and I've been here since 2004. I'm here because I wanted, I've been a member of the uh, Economic Development Committee for a long time, many, many years and have reapplied to be a member of the Economic Development Committee. Uh, I've got lots of experience doing that. Um, I'm not sure that I can be here when you finally get around to appointing the members, so I wanted to come and introduce myself and say I, I've served and, and I have high regard for all the other members of the committee. And um, I, I'll make a comment about the confidentiality in a moment, but you know the work that this group does is really important to the vitality and the future of Oak Ridge. We're volunteers. We work hard, make informed judgments and decisions about what's gonna be best for Oak Ridge, trying to bring jobs and economic development. And so um, I can't be here for all the meetings, but I would certainly like to be considered when the time comes, I'd be happy to provide a, a resume or any other um, information if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any questions. About the confidentiality, Skip, I appreciate what you're saying. I'm not sure what the, all the details are behind that, but having served in many capacities throughout the state of Oregon, including the Governor's Council on Economic Development many, many years ago, having confidentiality is really important to protect and make sure that you get the right people. And, and, and when the time comes that it has to become public, that's great. But before it becomes public, it's really important you protect that confidentiality so that the business interests can be protected. And it's for the best interest of the, of, of the community that that, that that happens. So I just, I put that out there for you. I see another colleague right over here looking at me. Thank you. And uh, that, that's all. Any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Um, Gary Carl? Yes. I haven't forgotten the name. My name's Gary Carl, 48175 East First Street. And I want to uh, echo what uh, Mr. Cutler just said. I also put my name in for the uh, Economic Advisory Council. I'm not going to be able to be here when you all get around to making the appointment. So I'd like to be considered and present myself this evening in case you have any questions that you'd like to ask me. Um, what else to say? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Well, uh, I don't mind giving my name, but before I give my address, I want to make sure there's no thieves in here. <laughs> You're welcome to just say Oak Ridge. <laughs> Robert Moe, and uh, the address is 47959 West 2nd Street. Two issues, and Hoy took my thunder because I was talking about the police department. Somewhere along the line, the police department's arms are tied. When there's a report on theft, and I've done this a few times, and nobody responds to that, or the response I get back from those, I will not mention no officer's names, I'm just gonna say it's in the police department. My response from them is, we just didn't have time. And I said, no time. Well, there's some legal issues and we just can't pursue that, we might get in trouble. Well, my first comment to that was, well, you have a DA or somebody to talk to, don't you? Well, that kind of went right over the shoulders or over the head. And my other issue is, I won't carry on with that, but we have a very, very bad issue with it here with drugs, theft. I've got a six-foot fence around my property. 
and not for people they don't know, but people they do know. <laughs> the other thing I've got going on, has anybody else got any problems with water in here with residue in their glasses after they wash their dishes? Well, I do. And I tell my wife, of course, my, my wife, she says, there's no problem with the water. And I'm saying, I haul my water from a good friend I have. And it don't taste anything like the chlorine or the chlorine or whatever else we we're putting in there. And I'm thinking they're putting way too much because I take a shower and I can feel it on my body burn. But I'm just saying that for myself. Maybe nobody has that issue, but I do. And I hope somewhere along the line, that we can address that, find out how much stuff we're putting in our water. Because I'm an old boy from Oak Ridge. The water we used to drink had bucks. I never got sick or nothing. But this stuff here is, and I know the cancer rate, and I'm, like, I'm just assuming this. The cancer rate is going really high. And I understand some of that problem could come from our water. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mouth. You best. Sorry, Emily. Not a problem. 53 third grade is important. <laughs> Can I think we show that Mr. Forkham has arrived? Thank you. Oh, I'll keep this. I will keep this. So, now, have I hit everybody who wanted to talk? Okay. Here, good. Stephen, we'll get to you. 